Hi there. How are you? Uh, I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you for asking. I know the room is messy. I know my hair is messy and I know my beard needs to be trimmed, but I needed to be here. I needed to do this. I needed to hit record and I'm willing to show you the less sexy sides of myself. And believe me, I have sexy sides, but I need to show you the unsexiness first, warts and all. And my God, there are a lot of them. So like a lot of people, I bought things during the pandemic. I bought a synth. It's a fake Moog Moog synth. It's great, I made a video about it. The video's great, you should go back and watch it. But uh, I didn't buy this because I'm approaching 40 years old and buying things to fill the void in my life, to make me feel young again and to try to face the existential dread that that brings, no. <laughs> <laughs> I bought it because I'm truly interested in it. I make short films. You know, getting a synth is just a little bit of a part of, you know, understanding how to score something, whether I score something myself or hire someone in the future, I don't know. I just think it's good to have a little bit of knowledge in an area. One of the pain points, to use a terrible marketing term or pieces of friction with this, is that all the different components need their own power supply and that gets cumbersome and I keep losing them and they're weird, one of them. The pedal polarity is backwards. So I decided once and for all to take care of this and to build the one cord to rule them all. And that cord is not forged in the fires of Mordor. It is a leftover 12 volt hard drive cable. 12 volt and three amps. So let's get into this, I will talk less and I will. As a quick recap, 12 volts power, plugs in there, goes through the switch. The switch either opens or closes the gap. Allow it to run first to the synth. The synth is 12 volts, so we don't need to do anything to that power. You could plug this directly into the synth and it would be okay. There's also a yellow lead here, that's my positive, running to the buck converter 
which turns it into six volts. So out of the other side, we have six volts. And I just daisy chain them together because it's the same power. So this runs to the key step and this runs the reverb pedal. Now the issue with the reverb pedal is that the center is negative, which is a bit odd. The polarity is backwards, but I have my positive running to the negative on this. But anyways, if you want to know, I had a very busy summer and I injured my back and I could not move for what felt like months. So I am finally feeling human again and uh, I am better than ever. I am here and if you show up, I might be there next week. Got a few videos in the pipeline and I'll leave you with a little teaser of the next one. It involves making a beverage out of a diaper. So that's something to look forward to.